Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be making a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> um, so basically I went to Dollar Tree and I just moved recently. So I'm still in the process of getting like a lot of stuff together, like organizing everything. I have most of it done, but I feel like I have a lot of random stuff that needs somewhere to go. Um, plus, I love Dollar Tree. If you don't know, Dollar Tree is a store where literally every single thing in there is a dollar. There's some dollar stores where you go there and it'd be like $150, $250. They try and like add stuff up. But when you go to Dollar Tree, literally every single thing is a dollar. And that's why I love that store because it's just so affordable and you can actually find some really cool stuff in there. This new area that I just recently moved to, they actually have a ton of Dollar Trees. So I'll definitely be going back. So if you are excited for this video and you want to see what I got at Dollar Tree, then make sure you go ahead and keep on watching and like this video if you love Dollar Tree and you like falling on a budget. So I got about four bags full of stuff. So I'm just going to show y'all go through every bag and show you what I got. There's a lot of random stuff. Um, just that like I've been needing in my household, in my household. So Let's just go ahead and get started. I got like some stuff in beauty category, some stuff for household, some stuff for cleaning, etc. So I'm just gonna grab item by item. I'm not gonna do it like in any particular order. So first thing I got these two little, they're kind of like little trays, like wooden trays. They smell good because there's dryer sheets in the bag. But what I'm thinking of doing is painting these or covering these in contact paper and then using them to hold my jewelry because I kind of have a lot of jewelry and when I go through it, I want to throw away a lot of it and only keep a few pieces that I really wear. Um, so that's why I got this. And I was also thinking maybe like putting my keys in here, like having it at the door, if I can put like my keys or just like, I don't know. I just thought these were cute. So I'm gonna definitely paint them and customize them and then do something with that. Some dryer sheets, these are vanilla. What does it say? Yeah, these smell really, really good. Next, I got these reusable wipes and they're basically kind of like microfiber type towels. This comes with four for a dollar. Okay, like I said, they don't try, they're not gonna price this four dollars. They're gonna say this is really one dollar. Um, but yeah, you can wash these. So I really like these for like wiping down the counter, wiping, like cleaning up the bathroom. Um, I don't know, they're just really good for a lot of different things. And I like that they're reusable, you can just wash them. Um, and you can bleach them too, so it's a little bit more sanitary. So I like that. On the same kind of note, I got two packs of microfiber towels, I got white and gray. I like these for the same purpose, just cleaning up things around the house. Um, I also like these, I got the white ones because I like to use them when I'm doing like an at-home facial or when I'm just washing my face, washing my makeup off or drying my face. These are really nice and gentle. And like I said, they're good because you can wash them, bleach them, sanitize them, and they're gonna come out good as new. So I got two packs of these. I also got a paintbrush. This is just kind of like a medium-sized paintbrush. Um, because I have a frame that I want to paint over and I also I'm gonna paint these and I have some brushes But they're pretty small. So I wanted to just go ahead and get a bigger brush next thing I got is Three packs of these wax warmers or, or wax melts because um, we have a couple wax warmers in the house and I just love these they smell so good. This one is Palo Santo. I don't know what that means But it smells really really good this one is Beach Rose. And these actually smell really good. You would think for a dollar that, that the smell not bad. That, uh, you would think that for a dollar the smell not might not be that strong. But these actually smell just as good as the more expensive ones. And this one is Coconut and Citrus. This one's like my favorite. It smells so good. So I got three of those. And whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I like to pick up a couple of these because we kind of go through them fast. I forgot I got this actually. But basically, um, you can put these, you can hook these onto your bra and it'll make your bra into like a racer back shape. Um, and I literally found myself needing to use one of these like a few days ago. And I was like, dang, I, I thought I had some of those, but I don't. And then I saw them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this is a pack of two. I got a picture hanging kit. This was just one dollar guys and basically i'm going to use this to hang up that frame that i was saying earlier that i wanted to paint 
I'm gonna use this to hang that up and I have a couple more things that I wanna hang up. So I was like, might as well just get the whole kit, everything you need for $1. The next thing I got, I already used one of these actually the other night. Um, I got these Spot April Bath and Shower, shower frizzers. These are the lavender scent. And this comes in a pack of three. And they basically, I'll show you what it looks like. These smell really good. This is like I said, the lavender scent. Um, but basically what you do is you put these in your shower, kind of like away from where the water is. Water can still touch it, but you don't want it directly underneath the water, you know, stream. So I really like this. I tried one of them the other night because I just was like really curious to see. And the smell is actually really, really good. It 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 will actually last through your whole shower if you have it in the right spot um but yeah i really like this and i think for a dollar these are perfect if you just want to have a little self-care night or you know you just like aromatherapy type why can i freaking talk today if you want aromatherapy type stuff um i don't think i would spend a lot of money on something like this on something like this because you literally just have it running under your water but three for a dollar i'll definitely pick these up next thing i got this is kind of more beauty related item these are two these are face brushes but i'm actually going to use these i'm going to have one in my bathroom and one on the kitchen sink so that i can you know brush under my nails um because i do have i do wear nails like a lot of the time and normally i have them pretty long so i like to be able to brush underneath my nails to make sure that everything's nice and clean and sanitary they actually do have specific like nail brushes in the beauty section but they were like pink and blue um just colors i didn't really want i wanted it to be more neutral so that's why i just decided to get the clear ones but they do also have like the nail brushes that you hold in your hand and then you can kind of brush that way too next i got a wet and wild smoky liner brush um i really like these wet and wild brushes i feel like they're really great quality they're literally a dollar and you can get them at a lot of different places but dollar tree has them definitely the cheapest um but this is just a really good brush i think i could use this for like you know doing smoky liner or also um like packing color on the lid or anything like that so i love affordable brushes so whenever i see good quality brushes for the low low i definitely grab them next bag <laughs> Next thing I got, which I also already used the other night, this is like a spa massager. It's like a scalp massage thing. I do like this, but I do notice that it gets caught on my hair. I don't know if you could see, but this kind of has like a little bit of plastic kind of like hanging off right there. So I don't know if that's why, but whenever I massage my scalp, I don't want it to mess up my curls or like tangle up my hair. I kind of want to just easily be able to pull it in and out. But like maybe if I show you. See, like it just kind of pulls my hair a little bit i i kind of like this but i also feel like i'm not going to use it that much just because it really catches on my hair so i'll probably just use this to like massage my dog i don't know <laughs> the next thing i got was a vegetable peeler or like a i don't know fruit peeler whatever you want to call it um just so that I can peel potatoes and you know other peelable food items <laughs> i got a gold metallic marker so last year i was visiting my mom and i took my whole entire pencil case full of like all my markers pens pencils like all my favorite writing tools and like craft stuff and i accidentally left it there so i have like none of my really cute markers and stuff like that anymore so i got this because i was thinking maybe i can use this in conjunction with this project i don't know but i think I don't know this would just be good to have and it was a dollar I got these glasses I actually got four but I'm only showing you two um I really really like these glasses they have like a little bit of a texture to them and I also like that there's a little bit of a dip right here so that you can just easily kind of hold it in your hand so I got four of these Dollar Tree does actually have really really good quality glass items at my Dollar Tree, they didn't seem to have like a full stock of everything. So I'm probably going to go to another Dollar Tree soon and see if I can get more stuff to create a dish set or just get cute little glass dishes, vases, literally what, anything you can think in glass, they have it there at Dollar Tree for $1. Next, I just got a pencil. A pencil. I got a paper towel holder. I figured something like this, I don't have to spend a lot of money on. It doesn't really need to make like a huge statement. I just needed to hold my paper towels. I also got some Ajax with bleach. Um, this is just like 
a random household pickup but i really love this stuff to, for cleaning up the bathroom and you know scrubbing stuff or whatever so got this i'm thinking about doing a clean with me video what do i think about that so we are on to our last bag the next thing i got is this foam mounting tape and basically this is just really really useful for just mounting stuff on your wall <laughs> so yeah i really like this i feel like it can come in handy as i'm decorating my apartment and putting stuff together putting stuff up on the walls plus we are renting so you kind of don't want to be driving holes like all over the place you know what i mean so got two packs of sponges because you just always need sponges i don't like to let my sponges sit for too long i want to use them for too many days so i like to always just pick up sponges and these were literally a dollar for two so i thought that was perfect now i got three of these little organizers Am I holding it upside down? Yeah, I am. I got three of these little organizers. I really like these. I really like to use these just for organizing little items. They also have bigger ones there too, but they didn't have too many in stock. So I just grabbed three of these small ones. And I'm thinking I can use these to organize like um, video games, just little stuff. I also want to put one of these behind my toilet or like in my bathroom somewhere. So I can just put my face towels and um, you know, just stuff like that, that I kind of don't want just sitting everywhere. Um, and I had a different, a couple different colors, but I'm kind of going for more of like a brown neutral theme versus black and like gray or whatever. So I got three of those. I got just a little waste basket. Um, because I'm in my beauty room right now. And since I'm trying to get this all together, I actually do create quite a bit of trash in this room with just like wipes, tissues, um, you know, packages to stuff that I'm throwing away or that I'm buying new. So I just went ahead and got a simple waste basket for now. Just, I got a veggie brush. This is also something that I plan to use just like to wash my veggies, my potatoes, like my fruits, um, carrots, all that type of stuff. So. I also got two of these little organizers. Um, I'm planning on using these for my little nail jewels and like my some of my nail crystals are kind of in a loose type of container. So I got these just so I can organize my stuff a little bit better and I just went ahead and grabbed two. I also got another makeup brush. This is a large eyeshadow brush. I thought I had one of these already and I'm pretty sure I did, but for some reason I can't find it. So I saw it and I grabbed it. I also got a shower liner. This is just a clear shower liner. It is pretty flimsy material, but these are for my boyfriend's bathroom and he honestly is not picky when it comes to these. Um, I personally don't like using these anymore because I just find that no matter what, they always get moldy really, really fast or they get that kind of like soap scum on them. And I don't like that, so I prefer to get one that I can just wash now, but he still uses them, he still likes them. So I just went ahead and grabbed one for him. And then I also got this exfoliating washcloth. If you saw my self-care favorites video, then you might have seen me mention something that looks like this. And this actually has the same kind of, let me open it up. I really like to use exfoliating washcloths to just clean my body, get a really nice deep exfoliating action. I like my body to feel like a brand new body when I step out the shower. <laughs> so that's why I like using stuff like this to wash. And I feel like this feels just like the same quality and same material as the one that I got from the Asian Superstore from the um, H Mart. And I also feel like it's the same quality as ones that I've ordered on Amazon for like eight or nine dollars. This was only a dollar. So I just went ahead and grabbed that. Got a paint palette, like I said, for the aforementioned uh, projects that I'm planning on doing. I just wanted to get this just to keep everything nice and clean and organized. I also got this LA Girl Auto Eyeliner. This is supposed to be waterproof. No, it's supposed to be smudge proof. I mean, it's not the most black eyeliner. You definitely have to kind of, you know, it's not like a one swiper, but I think this will be good. I really am not a huge eyeliner wearer. So I just got this just to have it because it was a dollar. Um, but it's not like I'm really, really picky with my eyeliners because I don't wear them all the time. But I do find myself needing one every now and then. So I just wanted to grab it. I think the last thing I got are these eyelashes. These are the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes. These are definitely like a hidden treasure at Dollar Tree. These are so good. I have, I bought like maybe two or three pairs of these already. They do have multiple different styles. The Dollar Tree I went to had like a ton of them. 
Um, they don't have them at every single Dollar Tree that I have been to. Um, but they had a few different styles like the one I went to. So I really like that. These are kind of like wispy but still dramatic i don't know these are just really really pretty they had a more dramatic set there and they also had like a more natural kind of set there as well so this is the wispy cat eye if you go to dollar tree and you see these lashes definitely don't sleep on them make sure you grab them because they're really really good and they're literally only one dollar that is basically all i got i also did grab some uh natural sh like unbleached sugar and i also got some seasonings and i also got those trash bags which i they probably fell out of the bag somewhere but thank you so much for watching my dollar tree haul i hope y'all enjoyed it definitely make sure that you like this video if you want to see more videos like this and i will see you for my next one